Welcome to SBRForum.com. In this video, we're taking a look at the Golden State Warriors and the Utah Jazz as they get set for their matchup on Saturday night. Now, I think on paper, you look at this, you say, Jazz aren't going to the playoffs. The Warriors are pretty much the best team in the NBA. Uh, of course, Golden State's going to blow them out uh, at home. You're seeing a number of about 8.5 to 10, depending on uh, where you saw this line open. Um, and you think, well, that seems pretty short for Golden State. I mean, they're a pretty darn good team. They've what uh, played fantastic at, at home, probably better than anybody else in the NBA. Uh, now, all of a sudden, they're playing a non-playoff team. They should roll, right? Well, you should take a look at how this new Utah Jazz team because since the All-Star break, this has been a completely different team. Um, it's very, very interesting team. Uh, not only how, how they're going to finish the season here, but in the off-season, I can tell you right now, I know this is jumping the gun, but I already like their over for regular season wins going into next year. This is a young team that gets better each and every night that they get on the court, and I love their defense. Since the All-Star break, they're allowing 94.3 points per game, which is the best in the NBA. You wouldn't think that with the Utah Jazz, right? Uh, but they're playing really well. Rudy Go Gobert is playing fantastic in the front court. Gordon Hayward is being a solid, uh, solid contributor in the back court. Um, you know, this is a team that's young, uh, talented, getting better, they're growing up together, and they're buying it what Quinn Snyder is selling. So that's what I like about the Jazz. Now the flip side of it here, yes, Golden State's really good, but no Clay Thompson, so one half of the Splash Brothers is not in the equation. The other factor here too is they're in a back-to-back -back situation, so I don't love that with the Warriors because we did see them rest a bunch of guys, uh, when was it, a couple games ago, uh, when they were in a back-to-back -back situation. Got to be aware of that here too, but in a, at any rate, I think the line is too high. At 10, I'm definitely taking a shot with the Jazz as a team that's red hot right now. I think they've won 7 of 8 or 8 of 9. Their defense is as good as anyone. I think they keep this game close on Saturday night at Oracle Arena. Thanks for watching this video right here on SBRForum.com. We'll catch up with you again very soon.